Hey, everybody! Happy Friday! Happy Friday, everyone! And welcome to our 1,000 subscribers special. Yes, this is a traditional mint julep. Hmm, that's delicious. Yes, to、uh, to celebrate. You almost used catnip, but didn't use catnip, so I'm, I'm glad that you you used it. Well, I actually have a shocking admission. <laughs> There's, <laughs> there's a little there's, catnip there's in there. There's another. There's another batch in the freezer that I did use catnip. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, we'll try that later after yeah, these if we need a refill. Cat, catnip julep. I mean, the thing is, when you're looking at, I mean, I, I hadn't picked any mint in a long time. The catnip looks a heck of a lot like mint. Although when you actually do find the mint, you're, it's obviously mint. They are both. Yeah, this is spearmint. But anyway, we are here to celebrate all 1,000 of our YouTube YouTube subscribers. Thank you so much. We love you guys. Couldn't have done it without you. And tonight we're going to celebrate with a little trip down memory lane,、uh, sharing some videos from the beginning of our channel. Some are okay. Some are pretty bad. We're going to try and keep it brief so people don't get too bored. But、uh, and then we'll have a little bit more、uh, normal chat and some San Diego stuff. Yes. So I understand that people from all over the globe are celebrating our thousand subscriber special tonight. Is that right?、And、I have a couple of clips. From parties that are happening. Oh wow! Yeah, I know. What is this, Rio or? I don't know where, but these folks are having a good time. Oh yeah, these, these folks. Nice. Yeah. I want to hang out with them. Yeah, they look the, like they're having the most fun. Yes.、Um, oh, I think we missed one. No. Oh, okay, these guys. Hmm. Yeah. No, I'm not sure what's going on with that guy. He looks like he needs to、uh, do something with his belt. <laughs> yeah, he's doing his belt. <laughs> You have to like put it into the other loop, the part that hangs out, and that's supposed、okay. to have that. Part anyway,、out. yes, parties all over. These guys definitely the most fun. I think so. Yeah. Now let's jump right into it. We're gonna throw back to the beginning of the channel with your very first market update. Wow! In two thousand nine. In two thousand nine. I don't、yeah. even remember. And I will. I will say <clears throat> before we start this that I I, I purposely haven't. Pre-watched any? You don't know what you don't know. No, what I, I have no idea what you're what you're throwing at me, but I do appreciate you spending all the time you spent to put it together because I know it was a lot of work. Well, you're welcome, and I was sorry that I didn't think of、uh, doing like wireless earbuds or something. So we we need these to listen, and so Eric has this weird cord hanging out of his ear, and we were sorry. We were okay, and that means we weren't sorry, but、uh, we want to pretend like we were.、Mm. Past tense, sorry. You know what that means if you've been around here before. Okay. Without further ado, let's check it out. Oh wait, no, there will be more ado. I clipped these down a lot as I tried to make it concise. It, maybe it might get a little boring at times, but we're going to try and keep it moving along. So anyway, here is a clip of Eric's. First Am I supposed、marketing. to react to this, or? Yes, you're supposed to react. While it's happening, or supposed to. Whatever、walk? you want to do. Okay. Whatever okay. you whatever you want to do. Okay. Hi, I'm Eric Edelman with Century Twenty One Award Realty.、Um, I help people buy and sell homes here in、uh, San Diego. Are you sure? And one of the questions <laughs> that I get asked the most is, "How's the market?" And you know, I tell people the answer to that question really、Why、depends、so、on what your goals are. I think you are were filming buying, this with a BlackBerry. Are you short selling? The resolution is not good. The audio is pretty bad.、Uh, because depending on what your goal is, and the, the angle is、um, the market, a bit. Yeah, it's a terrible well, it's angle. A really angle. I sold that watch.、Uh, that was the watch、right、I won that, that,、uh, from that contest. From Tiffany's. To,、mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that was that was when we won the breakfast at Tiffany's. We got to go shopping at Tiffany's because we sold so many condos in that complex. Inventory is kind of short. Short, and that's why、uh, like、buyers、situation. right now,、uh, the answer to the question how the market、uh, may seem a little、uh, a little worse. All right. Okay. So there's a clip. Wow. Let's move on. Okay. So September 2016. This is five years later. What did I do for the inter intervening <laughs> five years? I don't know.、Uh -huh. There was more videos like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, can I? I mean, well, okay. I don't want to belabor it. It's just the. 2009. I remember why I started doing that, and it was because I was、uh, at the Tom Ferry event. Tom Ferry is a real estate trainer, and he had this speaker come in. This guy Gary Vaynerchuk. Who, Everybody knows Gary V. Gary、right? V. I、yeah. mean, maybe people who aren't in sales don't. A lot of people know Gar、yeah. who Gary V. Is anyway. Gary V. Was a keynote speaker, and he came and he gave a very impassioned speech about the future of media. And this is 2009 when we had、uh, the the cable box where we had the either the scrolling guide or the guide that you scrolled through. There was no streaming, and if there was, it was very primitive. And what Gary stood up and said was that the future of media is anybody who's passionate about anything is going to have their own channel, and they're going to have their own、um, 
you know, platform to, to say and to show what they want to show, what they're passionate about. And what's that? Oh, Art's in the chat. He's oh. saying you had more chins back then. <laughs> oh, thanks, Art. Yeah, I was, I was, well. <laughs> better now. He says better now. Thank you. Okay. Anyway, um, this is what the, the, the crux of Gary Vee's speech was that everybody's going to have their own platform. And a lot of people in the audience were like, that guy's freaking nuts. And his, his speech was also per, laden with profanity, which is why I paid very close attention to it. Uh, when you start swearing at me, I listen carefully. Anyway, uh, so well, that's... I have to remember that. <laughs> that's, that's where it all really started. That was the kernel that, that got me going on the videos. I was very hesitant to push a video out there. I didn't want anybody seeing me on video. But after a while, it became more natural. And then fast forward to where you join in. Okay, yeah, so we had 2009, you do a, your first update. Now here's our first market update together. Okay. Again, I kind of clipped some pieces out. And, Hi uh, everyone, it's Eric and Deva with Century 21 Award. We're here in our office. Not great IBT audio, I don't even think we had mics here. No. This is at our old Eric, office, uh, the old, in the old Century Absolutely. 21 building off uh, Mercy Road, about which every 30 is days still vacant many years later. A, uh, yep. market update, either a blog or a video. So we don't even have any graphics about, or anything. Uh, no, I have some sticky uh, notes. Oh, you have sticky notes. We have a plant and I have so, my running, my running metals back there. Yeah, which, uh, so you're going through some market statistics here and I did clip this out. And, uh, uh, so spoiler alert, you didn't um, talk about, talk um, about I, I clipped through that because you didn't really price. say like median yes. prices or anything. It was just all about inventory and stuff. So then we start talking about the importance of proper pricing. And you used a lot of words here and now you yes. would just say talk about this often price it well who if you wanted to sell right like, yes. oh, he's talking about pricing again really pricing is everything when it comes to selling. i remember that red um, cup i mean you can yeah i think i might i still have that cup i'm drinking mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i think but i broke your red cup and i was sorry it's yeah it's not gonna one. sell you did or, or if it does it's not so now sell, we you illustrate the importance of proper pricing by talking about two different homes that we sold this we had two homes that we put on the market the very same day same day this year we put Two oh, homes. Beautiful homes. Beautiful, yeah. Great. And I'm putting one videos one up here. Yes. I superimposed one these today. These weren't, we didn't have these Scripps back Ranch. then. These oh. were new. The so that, this, that's the, the Escondido that property, and that's the Scripps sell, Ranch property. Yeah. Should sell around 550. And these are drone the videos we had of both, which was fairly, Ranch not that, everybody was doing drones at the time. Hardly anybody was doing drone video at that time. The Escondido home, the seller insisted we list for. This one, the seller wanted to list for more than you and suggested. Sat on the market yes, for sixty days. Yes, where we sat on the market. When, uh, mm -hmm. when we finally reset the price at, at five forty nine nine. It sold within eight yeah. days. Mm -hmm. uh, so the the guy over here in Scripps Ranch, you know, he was uh, he was really insistent that he we priced price it well. aggressively. Yeah, I thought the home would sell. Well, look at that drone video. Nine eighty and nine ninety nine ninety five. Um, he wanted to list it for 979. That was his. It's a riveting uh, explanation yeah, that I'm giving here. Price it well if you want to sell. Right. Since, right. Like, I've, since I've refined that. Yeah, you've made, come, definitely made it more concise. In, uh, I think we're, we're nearing anyway, the end here. He but. decided to list the house. Have me listed at nine seventy nine. Yeah, I think we can all see where this is going. Twenty four hours. This within 24 to overpriced hours, one sat on the market. Offers, and yes, this one on the table sold yeah. fast. Sold quickly. The seller got to pick the very best buyer with the best qualifications and the highest price and ultimately closed escrow at 989. He had to call us up and ask us to have people stop looking at the home. Yeah. Because so many people coming was, through. You're right. Yeah. They were just, they were, they were overwhelmed. Both of those homes could have sold the first day. It was just the, the Escondido seller was just phone, I, stubborn. Phone so we looked those <laughs> homes up and you yeah, sent me uh, a market. Yeah. Tell me what's going on here. So this is first the Escondido one and the yeah. next one is um, the Scripps Ranch one. So, and it seems like they both haven't sold since then, is that correct? That's true, okay. they have not. So both of these homes sold in 2016. And again, the Escondido property had originally listed for like 579, which was too much. And it didn't sell after 60 days. We reset things at 549 and it sold very quickly. And now today, uh, the RVM, which is the uh, National Association of Realtors Automated Value Model, uh, shows it at 995, 880, or a range of 926 to a million uh, 70. So that's how uh, that house has grown in value over the years. So whoever got it 
for five forty nine. dollars I represented the seller. I don't remember who the buyer was, but they still own it. They probably thought they paid too much too. They probably thought they paid too much and now look at it double, pretty much double the value. All right, well, let's check out the Scripps Ranch home. Yeah, this, this one has experienced a little bit more uh, bounce, if you will. Um, and again, the guy, the seller on this one was just smart. He, he listened to what I had to say and he said, let's get aggressive. Listed it at um, nine, what did I say? 979, I think. Yeah. And closed at 988. <clears throat> and now today worth two, somewhere between 2.1 and 2.51 uh, would be the range of values. And if I was repricing this house today, I would drill down on the comparable sales and, and figure out exactly where it should be. But um, yeah, perfect example of proper pricing, gets you a lot of offers right away, take your pick of the buyers, get more than you're asking for, or sit on the market and take less later. Price it well and it will sell. That's right. Okay, let's move on to another throwback here. We're gonna go back to January, 2016. Now this is the top performing video on our oh, channel. Oh wow. It has about 17,000 views. And this was not one that you even meant, you didn't set out to make no. this. There was an emergency at one of our listings and you had to go fix it. Yep. And uh, you made a video and it went viral. I don't even know, I don't even know why. I don't remember why I decided to make this into a video. I was rushing to get things ready for an open house. There's water pouring down the driveway and somehow I was compelled to make a video. Well, I guess it was a good thing you did. 17,000 views. Hi, this is Eric Edelman with Century 21 Award Realty. And I am possibly looking a little bit grubby right now, and that's because I'm here at Just one of my little. listings to fix a problem with a sprinkler. And um, these people just still to own show this you house because too. it's a oh, yeah, fairly common issue, fairly us. easy to yeah. repair. Um, thought it would be useful to uh, show you what's going on. So here's the sprinkler right here. Um, the problem. And I think it's broken at the bottom. We've got water uh, shooting out from right here when we uh, turn it on. So I'm guessing somebody has uh, run over this oh, sprinkler head and cracked the pipe at the bottom. But we're going to dig it out and see what's happening. I sped this up today. This, yeah. this The video isn't really like this, but I sped no. this up so that you can see all the rest of the video. And the thing was, the, the homeowner had a shed full of like sprinkler parts. And I was just like pulling out whatever I could to put this thing back together. And there it is. I, I yeah. stopped sp speeding it up so you can yeah. see the result I used, there. And I had, some, I had some Teflon tape that I used to, you know, seal the threads and... And it all worked out, and for some reason, seventeen thousand people have decided, "I want to see this." Yeah, well, we thanks, never know. folks. Yes. Thank you. All right, what do we have next? Oh, January twenty twenty, our first market update of twenty twenty. Oh, pre pandemic. <laughs> and we had some uh, foreshadowing and you know expert uh, you know predictions and stuff here, which I think we all know what happened in twenty twenty. So let's. Oh, and just a, another thing, it sounds like I was sick in this one. And this was the last time I have been sick since then, but I mean, I think maybe I might have had like Hi OG everyone, COVID. we're Eric like, and anyway. David with Century 21 Award. And we're back with our first housing market update for 2020. Hope I everyone had a restful a holiday and your New Year's I off to so. a great start. <laughs> so the National Association of Realtors just released their forecast for 2020. Top economists it's gonna are predicting be a shit that storm. the economy <laughs> will continue to grow and unemployment rates be... will remain low. Yeah. <laughs> also, mortgage rates are likely to stay the same and home prices will increase because of limited supply. This I'm time to last like year, mortgage rates it. were hitting 5% and home now they're did. below 4%. So okay. low well, unemployment and low mortgage they're rates mean more people can afford to buy homes. <clears throat> all right, anyway, we all know what happened after that. Yes. Now, okay, here's later in 2020. This is our first TGIF Live. Oh, wow. Okay, so you see what we're doing now. You know, we've got screens behind us and, you know, uh, other stuff going microphones on. Microphones and all kinds of other stuff. Here's what. Here's how it started. One thing hasn't hey changed guys, though, it's the drinks. Eric <laughs> drinks. and we're hanging out in our backyard mm. chatting about uh, I guess we did what have went down in the real estate you world see the this wire. week. Hopefully somebody can join in with Terrible a question lighting. or comment. Yeah, it was natural um, lighting. So pretty much, you know, I think the best thing that happened to us this week was we opened an escrow for some people who had been looking for a home for quite a while. We drone yes, on and on yes, about the real estate for market time. for like a half an hour. It's kind of boring, mm. and poorly lit and stuff. But anyway, okay, um, I guess I got through this quick more quickly than I had expected because we only have one more thing in our... Um, our uh, thousand subscriber special. Now this doesn't have anything to do with our YouTube channel, but okay, so this week we hit thousand subscribers. That was awesome, but that wasn't the best thing that happened to us this week. 
We had two of our teenagers, well, we only have two. Both of our teenagers graduated this week. Uh, Alex it feels from eighth like more. Grade, yeah, it feels like more. Alex from eighth grade, John from high school. And we had permission to video uh, one of them. So I'm going to share with you John's graduation today. Oh, my gosh. He was at the Spreckles Organ Pavilion. Are you ready to, he's, this is just him walking across the stage. Yeah. Let's see it. Confidently walking across yeah, the stage. John. Yep, there I am screaming at him. William Finnegan. Okay, now, hey, I'm going to pause this for a second because you, you you yell, yeah, John, and then somebody else yells something. I couldn't tell what they said. It sounds like they're saying, get him a nice minivan, hmm. which doesn't really make sense. Well, I don't think again. that's what it was. Let's hmm. try again. Oh, no. Oh, oh that, that's bad. What did I just do? Oh, man, I went back all the way to the beginning. I was sorry. Oh no. Oh, I'm totally okay. Here we go. okay. Yeah, John. Will you? Yeah, yeah. Get, get him a, a nice minivan. Mini <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, we'll work on that. I think I think somebody was yelling <laughs> Finnegan. The next, oh, the okay. next kid. Yeah. They weren't yelling that we should buy John a mini. But if you play it backwards, <laughs> it contains a recipe for a really ripping lentil soup. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that was a really nice place to have a graduation. We it was were lucky, really cool, yeah. Lucky that the June gloom held out. So. Yeah, I was really worried that we're going to be sitting in the Spreckles Organ Pavilion in the blazing sunshine. Mm with airplane exhaust raining down on us. but All right, well, that's all the thousand subscriber content that I prepared. And again, thank you folks. We couldn't have done it without you. We love you guys. You're the best. Yes, um, indeed. Yes. But I do have a little bit more other content, like regular content. Should we get into that? Sure, do I still need this uh, earpiece? Uh, no, you can take that out. So next time, for our 2000 subscriber special, um, we'll have we'll to- We'll have wireless yeah. earbuds. Do you think we should, do you want to go get the, the catnip julep? <laughs> You're not ready? I mean, I'll get it. I think everyone should see us taste the catnip julep. Yeah, all right. I'll go get it. In Eric's defense, we do have several uh, mint plants in the backyard that look very similar. We've got a couple catnips, uh, one spearmint. <clears throat> and just also, I was in a hurry. Pro tip, if you're going to plant spearmint for mm. mojitos or mint juleps, put it in a pot because I didn't do that at first and it, it uh, exploded all over the yard and was a bit of a pain to clean up, but now I just have it in a pot. Okay, here we go. With, all right, you're gonna... Hey, let me take it off. Take oh. it off? Well, let me... T I'm, I'm, I, I mean... <laughs> Wait, what? Nothing. This isn't this kind of show. All right, and here we go with a catnip mint Meow. And tulip. The Meow. cats love the catnip. So yeah. That's why we have it. Cheers. Okay. You don't like it? Um, it's a little, little harsh. I'm gonna drink it anyway, but it's not very good. Oh, this isn't very <laughs> good. Oh, I don't like this at all. <laughs> okay. All right. <clears throat> Let's. Oh, do you want to do market minute? <coughs> Yeah, I don't know. I am gonna drink all that, but yeah, it's, you don't like it either. No, God. Okay, no. yeah, it's pretty bad. It's a. I mean, there's like when you look when you look at catnip versus mint, it's very similar looking, but when you put it in a drink, it's quite different. However, I am filled with the urge to cough up a hairball and climb climb the wall. <laughs> <laughs> It's so funny to give the cats cat dip and watch them go nuts. Yeah, so, they love it. It's a weird thing. Mm. Sometimes they don't do anything, and sometimes they just go completely ape, you know. Yeah, well, They go cats. Off, off the hook. Oh, Art. You guys look great after all these years. Congrats. And to John, too. Thank you, Art. And Art's been with us the whole time. Art's, oh, yeah. Art's, I, I don't want, he, he's a classic friend. Not an old friend, but a classic friend. Classic he's been friend. around. I don't even know how long, but Art, right, we appreciate you. We appreciate you know your support and friendship over all the years, and showing up for our lives. We always enjoy your comments and questions and witty remarks. So uh, yes. thank you, Art. And if you want to buy smart, call Art. Oh yeah, we've always anytime we buy a car, it's always Art always helps us out. You'd be silly not to. <clears throat> yeah. Sitting, I mean, the one the one thing, and I will I've said this before, and I'll say it again. The one thing that Art does for you uh, is to keep. You out of that 
sales manager's office in the dealership because that's the worst part of the car buying transaction and you all know it. You all think you're oh. smart. You all think you're going into that dealership to get a deal and you ink everything down and you're like, yeah, I did it. And then they're like, oh, we need you to go in here and sign your name 10,000 other times. That's when they get you. Well, I mean, how often do you buy? Like we buy a car every few years or whatever, but yeah. these folks are doing it every day, or at least they're trying to do it every day. They have yeah. scripts down and oh, they've yeah. heard all the objections. And if oh, you yeah. think you're going to outsmart them, well, maybe, but probably not. So, now, most, but if you have Art, he, he will help you. Yeah, he'll just keep you out of the dealership entirely. Right. And that's where you need to be <clears> because damn, uh, you know, you got your undercoating and keys, floor mats, additional overcharges. Uh, the the seal coating on the paint, the theft thing, the I mean, all the crap that you don't need. <laughs> and they make you, somehow they twist your brain around to thinking you need it. And you're like, well, okay, it only increases my- Gap insurance. It only increases my payment 40 bucks a month. That's not much. And by the time you walk out of there, you're $425 payment is $560 a month. All right. Well, if you don't anyway. want that to happen to you, call Art. There you go. Okay. Now, um, you're, oh, no. We're, watch, we're, okay. We're going to do... Um, oh, the market minute. Yeah. No, this is the one where it's... We do uh, the month over month. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to turn on the timer. Where am I going to turn on the timer? Here there you go. go. Okay. So this month in San Diego real estate, or looking at April to May of this year, we have 10.7% more new listings, 9.8% uh, more pending sales, and the difference, uh, the, we have slightly less pending sales than new listings, which means there are more homes on the market, which is good. Uh, closed sales are up 7.4%, days on market are dead even, and median price declined by 0.3%. So median price is flat, all other market indicators are up, and the summer market is heating up and going strong. Is there another slide? Oh, uh, no, that that's it. it. Oh. There's only one for this. Well, so, okay. So basically, I mean, new, new listings are up, which is good. And pending sales have remained at 450 or more per week for the last three months or more. So inventory is slowly climbing, but pending sales are still strong. So prices are flat or increasing. Price it well, it was hell. That's right. Okay, this um, mint jewel or this uh, catnip jewel is kind of growing on me. At first, I thought it was horrible. And I'm, I'm not sure we should be drinking it. Are we supposed to be drinking catnip? I don't know. I would ask Gemini, but well, um, all right. I'm gonna get out of here. <sighs> it should we ask Gemini? Very, it doesn't taste very good. Yeah, ask Gemini. Should I drink catnip? <laughs> To, is it okay for humans ingest, to ingest, yeah. it, and In, ingest, ingest catnip? Catnip. And Gemini says, you need to call a doctor. Oh, generally safe, small amounts. Don't overdo it, not for everyone. Talk to your doctor. Calming medicinal oh, properties. Oh, wow, okay. All right, so I guess it's. I guess we should be drinking catnip. Mint Maybe juice. I should be drying it up and smoking it. Well, let's not go that far, but I th it sounds like it's okay for us to drink this one. All right. Okay, so real estate stuff. Let's talk about, oh, we have a new, uh, well, it's not a new listing. It will be, it's, it's coming it's, soon. It's a new listing. It's a new listing. It's not quite. It, it's right coming now, soon. In, yeah, the seller isn't quite ready, uh, but. Well, it's, uh, we're, we're in that, we're, we're, we're testing this out, the coming soon period where it's on the MLS, but you can't show it. Well, uh, and it will be able to show on June 20th. Yes, for a variety of reasons that you can't go on the market right now. But do you want to take this mouse and just do a little uh, quick overview of this? Yeah, sure. Home? This this is a, I mean, essentially, these are twin homes in Bernardo Heights. There's a one story, two bedroom, <clears throat> two bath attached to a larger home. Each has a garage. This one's been really nicely remodeled in 2020, repiped in 2020. So all new plumbing. Um, just new flooring, new flooring, new counters. super clean. Yeah. I mean, you're just not going to find a cleaner place. And it's a two bedroom, two bath. It's in Rancho Bernardo. It has an attached garage. 
Uh, the HOA fee is $520 a month, which actually isn't that bad when you look around at other HOAs, but it includes so much. The clubhouse there is amazing. Yeah. The Bernardo Heights, Bernardo, Bernardo Heights Clubhouse. That's yeah. what, yeah. They, it has like so many amenities. You don't need a gym membership or a pool or anything. There's, no, there's everything's like, right there. Even pickleball. They even have pickleball. So, like, I mean, if you're spending, if you got two people and you're spending, you know, 50, 60, 70 bucks a month each on a gym membership. There's 140 right there that can go away. You go to the Bernardo Heights gym. Uh, this one has in-unit laundry and a nice big garage, which is very rare for um, an attached property. Oh, here's some pictures of the oh, yeah, community, there's a few. community center. They have a big clubhouse too with yeah. like pool tables. I mean, that could be like your recreation. You know, you just oh, go yeah. hang out at the clubhouse. It's, and... it's, it's really amazing. I kind of, I mean, I wish I could take advantage of it. They've got the barbecues. They've got the pool tables. You could you could have the you could reserve it for parties and yeah, stuff. Yep. Yeah. So it's a very uh, and the well cable machine foosball, baseball. table tennis. Uh, I think pickle, this is a pickleball court. Yeah, that's court. a pickleball court. I mean, I'm not even sure what that is. Yeah, but, it's and like tennis too. If you just want to, I'm just old school and I would play tennis. But. And then Lucidio Park, you also have access to, which is a beautiful yeah. little park. <clears throat> so um, yeah. This right. is uh, 16069 Caminito de las Noches. Okay. Now wait, let me let me show this here. This is something I find really, really cool. It's a, the latest in uh, interactive tours. And Zillow uh, actually is, I think, the only site that actually picks up this entire thing. But we had it, we have it, we have these done. And you click on this dot, it takes you to the room, and then this little fan right here is showing you what direction you're looking. And as you pan around the room, the little fan changes and shows you what, you know. And you could full screen it, and it's like a Matterport tour, except it also integrates this floor plan here. So yeah. it's even more like you can kind of into it. You're really you're walking doing. through the house. It's the latest and greatest in, uh, in uh, floor plan tours. Uh, so it is just very, very cool, and uh, I'm really happy with the way that, that this one came out. And I will tell you, going back into the 2020 thing, uh, we were among the first people to do this regularly on every listing. And in the beginning, we did our own walkthroughs. We bought a 3D camera yeah. and we subscribed to a service that did, there was a lot of, lot of work a lot of and now work. it's all like automated and stuff. Yeah. I mean, well, somebody has to go in and Some, take the pictures, but yeah. a lot of it is automated and it's definitely Somebody, much somebody does it, but, like, but the, the AI draws this floor plan for you and it's, it's really, really cool. So. All right. Okay. Let's move on to other news. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio has been cited in San Diego County. You don't say. Yeah, I, I do say. He's, he's making a new movie, and the d details about the movie are um, somewhat scarce. But, okay, so he was filmed in the, he was seen in the Anza Borrego area, which kind of reminds me of how vast San Diego County is. You know, vast. you think of the city, the, the city and whatnot, but there's a lot of San Diego. I mean, you can drive east for a, a long, long time. A long, a long way. Yeah, you've got, uh, <clears throat> I mean. Now they're showing this. The, the ads are somewhat tailored to the kind of stuff I search for. Mm. So, anyway. Variety of, I mean, as you, as you, I mean, San Diego, you've got obviously the beach and then you've got the near beach biome. And then you've got, you know, where we are, which is, you know, just inland canyons, canyons. And, and then you <clears throat> head into, you know, Poway up into Ramona, Mountains. you've got the low, the low mountains, then you can go all the way up into, uh, Places like uh, Julian, places, places like Palomar and, yeah. Mountain, uh, <clears throat> places like um, where's the Sunrise Highway, uh, La Mount Laguna. Sure. Is that yeah. where we went and stayed in that cabin where? Um, <laughs> With the Udall. Yeah, right. Our our, our youngest <laughs> was our youngest was very. She was like two years old. And we we were anyway. We don't want. To. Well, it's a long story, but yeah. she wanted yudels, which was noodles, and we had bought like four kinds of. We noodles. had like four kinds of yudels. None of them none were of, the right none ones. Of, none of them were the right ones. So anyway, uh, but yeah, so you got that, and then if you keep on going, you're going to go over the mountain into the rain shadow side of the mountains, and then down into the desert. Just an amazing array of uh, ecosystems, biomes, and. Um, which, locations yes, in San Diego County. Yes, which brings us to one of those biomes where um, Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio The Leo in. biome. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Anza Borrego, it looks like he was filming a crash and clash scene. Mm. Um, so he was captured 
so it's him and he's got a man bun and he's got a, a stunt double wearing matching attire and sporting a, a, a stunt man bun. Maybe the, maybe the man bun wasn't a stunt man bun, but it was, ah. was there. Okay, so there's, I don't know if this is, yeah, this is Leo. Mm. He's got a, he's got a. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Um, well, it was nice that he came out when the weather was good. Yeah. Not too hot out there. Yeah. It got hot right. later, but. So, all right, another actor whose identity wasn't confirmed. This is all very like uh, smoke and mirrors, cloak and dagger. Or what, what do you call it when you, when they're not telling you anything? Clandestine. Okay. okay. Though little has been released about the storyline, the Paul Thomas Anderson creation has been described by Warner Brothers as an event film. Ooh, event. <laughs> Could you be any more vague than that? <laughs> All right. The film is based <clears throat> on events that happened. Yeah. Okay. This dude, whoever this is, suspects the movie is a modern ab adaptation of the 1990 Thomas... Uh, P Pinchon. Pinchon. Yeah. Vineland. Okay. Mm -hmm, okay. Group of Americans in Northern California, 1984, struggling with the consequences of their lives in the 80s. Okay. 60s. Oh. They're struggling with the... They're in the 80s and struggling with the Hang consequences on. of their lives from the let me, 60s. Let me... Uh, Clean off my glasses. Man, you're hung up on your life from the 60s, man. It's okay. 1984. Get with the program, bro. That's right, probably well, what this movie's about. Yes. We'll wait for this to come out. Yes. Leonardo DiCaprio, phenomenal <clears throat> actor, has been, played many, many different parts. Some, some of the movies were good. Some were not so good. But definitely a, one of the great actors of our time. And when he's out in the desert there, he cannot, unfortunately for him, get his yacht full of young ladies... <laughs> You know, it's, he keeps I, getting older. They stay the same age. Yes, and I won't say the name of that boat that's in my head, but it's it's you know it's a yacht full of young. All young right. Well, ladies. I mean, he should do whatever he wants. I guess it seems yeah. like you could maybe Ma find someone like you could share. You know, experiences. Well, with it is. Sort of he hasn't, as far as I know, he hasn't been photographed on this yacht with lots of <clears> young ladies for many years. So maybe he's grown up and dating women his okay. own age now. Well, I hope so. Yeah, that I would mean, be the responsible thing to do. Well, it seems like it's nice to find someone that's sort of your own age that you have like you have shared stories and experiences mm, yes. and you kind of share the same times and stuff. But. It's like that song that Adam Sandler sang in The Wedding Singer. You know, he wants to grow old with Oh, right okay. Now. Well. Anyway. I guess Leonardo, maybe he's just the, Listen to the, the song, right Leo. Along. Yes. All right. All right, are you tired of the ocean? No. <laughs> okay. Of course not. How can I be tired of the ocean? <laughs> So this, uh, this I am story. sick of that mm -hmm. ocean. Uh, it's the same, same, the same GD thing. ocean all Every the time. Every time I look I out at it, it's it looks the, the same. same. Yeah. Okay, so here are some lakes that you could visit in San Diego County. Now, I was surprised by this list of lakes because it's fairly short and doesn't include some of my favorite lakes. Although there are, there are some good ones. Okay, so don't want to go to the ocean anymore, go to the lake. Lake Cuyamaca. We've been there. It's good. Now, I like Lake Cuyamaca uh, in the winter time for mm. snow because mm -hmm. sometimes there's snow in Lake Cuyamaca when there's not really snow anywhere else. And it's just a little up from well, Julian. Not not snow anywhere else close. Yeah. Yeah. So you can drive to Julian, have a lunch and maybe a beer if your teenager is driving you. What's the name of that place? Julian Beer Company? I believe so. And it's called Beer Company, but the pizza and the sandwiches are really good. Yeah. So, yeah, go there for... Um, on your way to Lake Cuyamaca. The dining in Julian is generally good. Yeah. Lake Jennings. I don't know that I've ever, ever been it's to Lake in, Jennings. It's uh, out near Lakeside. <clears throat> okay. You, we've been by it a bunch yeah, okay. of times. Uh, Santee Lakes. Yep. It's I've, right in Santee. Yeah, I've been there a couple times. They have the spray grounds there. If you have little kids and you want to have, like, um, you know, summertime splash park fun, that's pretty decent. We don't have little kids anymore. No. And we're not going to. <laughs> oh, no. I think that ship is probably we, sailed. We may be grandparents someday, but they're not going to be our little kids. Right. We can send them home. <laughs> yeah. Here, have you, some candy and go. Yeah. go we love go you. Home. Here's some candy. <laughs> Pat on the head. Right. John, take yeah. this away, please. <laughs> It's crying, <laughs> John. It's crying. Take it, take it needs it. to be changed. <laughs> right. Okay, Lake Murray. Now, I don't know what you think of when you think of Lake Murray, but I remember running. You and I ran 10 miles. We, we went on a 10-mile training run. For yes. One of the... Um, you were training for the AFC half. Yeah, and uh, you decided to train with me because 
Uh, I was supposed to run with a friend, and then the friend couldn't make it, so you ran. Well, at, at that time, I was a running freak. <clears throat> I was a running freak, and if somebody said, "Do you want to run ten miles?" I'd be like, "Let's go." I'll well, let me just get my shoes. That actually happened twice, yeah. where、um, a friend convinced me to sign up for a half marathon, and I did. And then the friend couldn't make it for whatever reason, and then you stepped in and ran instead of the friend with me.、So. I used to run half marathons <clears throat> at the drop of a hat.、Yeah. Well, but this and I will again. <clears throat> yes. November. Watch for it. Sweet. I'm signed up. <clears throat> What is that?、Uh, Silver Strand. Silver Strand Half Marathon. It's the flattest half marathon in San Diego County. So I feel like I'm cheating. Well,、but、I mean that's still a really long it, distance. It is a long. Most people、yeah. can't run that long. You got to、so. keep your legs moving <clears throat> for two hours or so. <laughs> anyway, Lake Murray. We did a 10 mile training run, and it was hot AF that day. So. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. So、um, that's it. No Lake Poway, no Lake Miramar. That's it. They, they what? I know. That's all the lakes. That's、There's、crazy、more. because first of all, Lake Poway is awesome. Oh my gosh, so many, and you could keep going up to、um, the next lake above it. Woodson. Yeah, well, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the, but Mount, up Mount Woodson. Woodson yeah. yeah.、Mm-hmm. And Lake Miramar. <clears throat> I cannot believe that that is in here because that's like the classic running training lake. The, Around it's, here, it's the absolute premier five-mile loop in Western North America. I don't know if you can find a better five-mile running loop than than Miramar Lake. I I will. It's I'll run. Almost, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll eat almost, my hat. Yeah, it's almost. I'll eat. I'll eat this. Of, yeah. If you can find a better five-mile loop, I will eat this hat. Okay. All right. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. No. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Lakes. Because I'm, if you do find one that you say is better, I'm going to say it's not. So、right. I'm, I'm not eating. Well,、that. I don't know how official any of these rankings. Things are, are getting weird now. It's a、There's、cat. A cat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's okay though. All right. I have one more news story and then、um, odd news. Okay. okay. And this is really. I'm gonna, just going to touch on this briefly. I know you guys are tired of me talking about how great my favorite、oh, restaurant look at is, this. Mitch's Seafood. No, Mitch's is the awesome. The Surfrider Foundation <clears throat> has an article about Mitch's and how they are an ocean-friendly restaurant. Oh. So basically, it's talking about how you know they are the, the way that they do business、uh, is friendly to the ocean. They don't create too much waste.、Um, let's see if、Surfrider、I can turn on this. Ocean friendly restaurant program. I can't turn on this up here in San Diego County, and I'm here with Alicia Tripp, and mixing and matching here. There we go. Okay. HR、so these are I've never I think this lady oh, oh wow general manager、oh. Mitch's okay it's it's the greatest And,、um, it's the best be place to re- I mean if you on balance there is no better place in San Diego to sit. The view is amazing. The food is good. And any time you know we have like an anniversary or something you know you ask me you know where do we want to go. Go anywhere, could be fancy. I don't want to go anywhere fancy. I want to go to Mitch's. Yes. But also for policy work. Anyway, we don't need to watch this whole thing. But Mitch's has been recognized by the Surfrider Foundation for being kind to the ocean. That's good. Yeah. Good for you, Mitch. Yeah. Way to go, Mitch. All right. So let's go to India, where a man has broke world record for typing with his nose. Oh come on. So he's typing the. <clears throat> typing, typing the alphabet with his nose, <clears throat> and he did it in like 27 seconds or something. And I think that if, again, this is one of these things where I feel like if I practiced, I could, I could do this. If I had three of these catnip juleps, I could do it in 14.9 seconds. I mean, this is pretty good, but I think I could do it faster. This, <clears throat> I mean, I, good job, dude. Good way to go. Way to go, but <clears throat> honestly. Not that impressive. Sorry. Well, you know, good for him. He, he he's living the dream. This this Guinness book is becoming clickbait, though. It's. Oh no. Okay, hang on. I'm, I'm fixing.、This. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, no. What am I doing? Okay, I need to just click on this and this. I know this this catnip is.、Um, I feel like. I'm all spun out on the catnip, man. Look at your shirt. It's it's like has like a shade of green in it. It's sort of like transparent there. Okay, we're going unscripted now. I don't have anything else prepared. I want to say again, thank you to the thousand subscribers because、yeah. you guys are you're the best. Every every last thousand of you, we love you guys. It's you know we couldn't. It, it's one of these things. Like I said, it was something that got planted in my head all the way back in two thousand eight, and I started making videos. 
but I was not intentional about what I was doing. I didn't have a specific format. I didn't have any guidance. But you started making them. You got yes, started, I, I and did, that was I, what you needed to do was right. to get started. And look at where we are today. Right. We've got cat and mint juleps and this crazy background. And, a thousand subscribers. Yeah, a thousand subscribers. And you know, a thousand <laughs> is not a lot for a, a, as YouTube channels go, as viral YouTube channels go. But what we are is a local resource for real estate information. And then of course this show where we just have fun and kind of let loose and show you what, what we like to talk about. And, and that's what we're really trying to do is inform people and connect with people. And we've been able to do that through all of this effort. And um, it's taken, I mean, we didn't really set an intention on getting more subscribers until about, it was a couple of years ago, right? That we really like looked at our subscribers and thought, how can we get more? We really started putting yeah, intention we, on we, the we weren't really thinking yet. on the about the number of subscribers. <clears throat> but as the number of subscribers has grown, uh, you know, it 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 helped the, the phone rings sometimes and, and that's really we definitely what... have, you know, done some transactions and met people who wanted to do, you know, to buy and sell real estate this right. year. It's 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 paying off for us and we are we're very grateful. Yes. We are because um, a lot of the ways that realtors choose to meet people, I find quite off-putting where, where we're chasing after people. Like or, knocking on people's doors or calling them on the phone. And I don't or, like it when people do that to no, me. No, no, no. So I don't want to do that to anyone So we else. would we would much rather sit here and... <laughs> Art, you guys need to go to Catnip and knock them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hooked on the nip. Oh, I know. <laughs> Things are getting weird over here. <laughs> oh, God. I can't stop. You're right, Art. Let's have more Catnip. Yep. Organize an intervention. Get Rue and all the all the gang together and tell me tell me how I need to get help. Anyway, okay, we we're happy we're happy the channel is growing in popularity, and now that we're at a thousand, I predict that the growth is going to become uh, exponential and or at least logarithmic. Log. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, logarithmic apparently is is the right word. No, no, exponential would be better. Oh well, probably logarithmic, but somewhere between those two. A year from now. A year from now, I really believe, firmly believe that we'll be at at least 2,500, if All not, right. if not more. We'll one have, year. We'll have another special. One year from now, <clears throat> so we'll, we'll have. We'll a, trot out these same cra crappy videos. Yeah, from we'll, 2000, we'll, we'll, we'll look at these videos again. We'll we'll drink some more catnip juleps, um, whatever the case may be. Uh, but you know, if you sat through all this, congratulations. Thank you. Art, thank you. Art, for sure. Um, and and yeah. anyone else who might come along later. And yep, I think it might be uh, might be time for a nap. I think we should go take a nap, a cat nap, <laughs> a maybe. Cat nap. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Well, thanks for stopping by, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Have a great weekend. Talk yes. to you. Talk to you later. Okay.